Welcome to the walk around of Trail Engineering's Aircraft Toilet Service Unit. And this job is fully loaded. All our jobs are bespoke built, so if there's anything that you need to add to it or take away from it, uh, we can get that sorted. So let me walk you through this fully loaded piece of equipment. So you've got a 700 litre effluent tank, and you've got a 300 litre tank to replenish the flush on your system. So all stainless steel tank, galvanised chassis, all painted. So let me show you some of the equipment. So on the vac type side of things, you've got a Yanmar L100 electric start diesel engine. And then you've got a MEX 1600 vac pump. And then those are belt driven, twin belts, um, protected in a guard. So on the water side of things, when you want to fill your flush back up, you've got a 12 volt heavy duty water pump. Now what we've done in this system is because you have problems with freezings on airports, we fully lagged all the pipe work and you've got a trace wire heating system built in as well. So at the end of the day, when you finish your shift, plug it into a 110 um, supply and that will heat all your pipes <clears throat> and it will also heat the immersion heater that is in the base of the water side of the tank stopping everything from freezing up so it's a simple case in here just plug it in and then you've got the choice of switching on your battery charger or switch on the heating system. We always leave the heating system off for the summer. In the winter, flick the heating system on, plug it in, your battery will be charged overnight and your pipes will be protected from freezing. So before you switch the heating system on, just ensure that you've got water in the tank because you've got an immersion heater in there and you uh, just make sure you've got some water in there before you switch it on. So um, how the trace wire heating system works is that as long as you're connected to the 110 system, you've got a thermostat built in here. It's measuring the air temperature. <clears throat> as the air temperature drops, the heating system will kick in and it will warm all your pipe work. <clears throat> we have also added a suck back to tank feature. So you've got a valve system here. So obviously you can't lag all the water that's in your hose reel pipe work. So what we've done, we've done a suck back to tank. So end of the shift, when you finish dispensing the water, switch two valves, one, two, and that will then suck all the water that's out of the pipes back into the tank. So you've got no water in your hose. All the rest of the pipe work obviously will be protected by the lagging and the trace wire heating system. and that will just discharge it back out again. So moving around the job, safety features. You've got a pressure gauge there, tells you the vacuum. Now this job, we've only set it to do vacuum. You can do pressure as well, but uh, the customer only wanted vacuum, so there's no way anybody can pressurize the toilets on the aircraft. So this is just vacuum only. When you want to discharge, it'll be gravity. So you've got a vacuum relief valve on there. You've got a beacon switch there for an airport beacon. That's on the top of the job there. Now these Yanmar diesel engines are the latest emission engines, but then we've also added a smoke filter. So there's a flexible hose going down to a smoke filter there that reduces any smoke that's coming out the unit. So overfill protection. You've got a primary overfill protection there, then that goes to a secondary overfill protection, and then that goes down to your vac pump. So coming around the job, so you've got sight glasses in your tank that show you the contents. So you've got these both ends. So you've got um, low, half, and full. You've got aircraft stepped holders for getting underneath your aircraft. 
and then we've also added some more filters to the system so basically when the vat pump's running you get a little bit of oil in the mist so this is an oil catcher and then that goes to a charcoal filter that removes uh, any odors and then then it exhausts out then <coughs> so you've got a lockable ignition switch there Okay, let's talk about aircraft connections. So basically for your flush fill, self protecting hose reel, you've got an aircraft connector, and then you've got a breakaway coupler as well. Back onto the self retracting hose reel. And then on the toilet side, you've got a standard aircraft four inch toilet connector worth mentioning uh, when you want to fill your clean side your flush side there's a two inch filler there so you can fill that up put your blue chemical in and then also you've got the sight glasses at the front of the tank showing you the contents and then that's the immersion heater at the bottom that stops the from freezing in the winter so you go back to emptying the aircraft toilets on the effluent side of things. Um, obviously you connect the hose to your aircraft, switch the engine on, you create a vacuum, open the valve, and that'll discharge the toilets. And then also we've got a, a knuckle there that you can turn. And then on the discharge side of things, as I mentioned before, it's under a gravity. You've got a four inch valve at the base of the tank. Discharge point there. For when you want to clean out the effluent side, there's a three inch cap and chain at the top of there. Open that up, you can put your pressure washer in, open your four inch uh, discharge and uh, wash out the effluent side of the tank. And that's just about it for the walk around of Tran Engineering's Aircraft Toilet Service Unit. Don't forget to watch our other videos on YouTube and check out our website, tranengineering.co.uk. Thanks for watching.